I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. That's better. why a workbench is so nice. Working out of a wheelbarrow and a sawhorse works. It takes me back a long way. Back to when I used to do all kinds of stuff in awkward places just because there wasn't any choice. Awkwardly bumbling. Not exactly the way I like doing things, but that's how this job is turning out. Getting old. Getting old. Makes things harder. problem with the yoke. It is so tough you can end up snapping off screws. That's okay. Got this tied together. Now where did I put the mark to cut this thing off at? <laughs> 29 and a half. 29 and a half right there. I'm going to cut off this piece that I just spent all that time putting back up. It's okay. Just cut this end off square. Seems how I got it anchored together now.
cut this off at 26 and a half. And it's one of the major problems with working with scrap lumber and junk is nothing is ever straight, square, or even when you start. So you end up having to true up everything as you go. But that only really takes just a couple of minutes. You got to think it through. And if you don't think through when you're working with new lumber, you make just the same mistakes in a different way. There we go. One problem I'm having, I'm being awkward with this handsaw. I should be much better at this than I am. But it is what it is. Batteries, kind of a pain in the neck. Okay, this is the back leg, this is the front leg. So I need to make another front leg and another back leg because we're going to need four legs for the table. But now that we've got this part of it all worked out, I can set that up and cut them out. Okay, four legs.
comfortable that it goes right flush with the base. And I can see a problem coming right up. These screws go through that angle. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.